Hey guys, I thought I'd cut open a couple of Honda oil filters and uh, take a look. This one is a Filtech, um, made in the USA. And I also have a Honeywell. Uh, same company that makes the uh, Fram oil filter. So, I'm just going to cut it open and see what the difference are. Alright, I have two uh, Honda oil filters here, and uh, they both are designed for my uh, 2008 Honda Odyssey. And the reason I thought I'd cut it open and take a look is because um, this one on the left, made by Filtech, has been replaced by this Honeywell one. And Honda basically says both of them have been tested and they meet their spec. So, I'm just curious. There's not a review or, or any type of analysis of this filter. It's just for my own curiosity. So uh, what we have here is um, the one on the left is the Honda 15400 PLM A01 and the one on the right is the same model number but ending in A02 so this A01, A02. A01 has been has been replaced by A02 here. Uh, this one is Honeywell. Honeywell is the same company that makes uh, Fram oil filter. And So let's take a look at these. Um, here's the uh, cover plate now the cover plate on this is uh, on the Honeywell do have bigger holes, more holes for the draining of the oil. Okay, this one on Filtech is smaller, a little bit less. Okay, here's the back side. Here's the back side. So once we move that, and then here we have the anti-drain valve. Okay, this is the anti-drain valve on this one. Here's the anti-drain valve on the Filtech. Seems a little smaller. Okay. So inside the filter you have the elements. Let's take this out. Alright, here's the Honeywell filter element. And this one is the Filtech. We pull the bypass valve here. So the bypass valve go here. Okay. One thing I notice about the element is that this one on the Honeywell has uh, paper, cardboard, uh, and and co uh, cover for the uh, element both sides. Now the Filtech do have it, but they're smaller diameter. So this part right here is the cover or the end for the element. Uh, on a pleats of a filter on the Honeywell you'll see that there's actually a crimp metal crimp to crimp the element together and here's the inside so you can see it All right. and this one this one actually slides out I was able to get it off And both of these filters were changed out about 3,500 miles. Um, so they were used equally the same distance. Now let's move the uh, elements over and then let's look at the bypass valve. There's the bypass valve on the Honeywell. There is a spring here, a metal spring. And here's the Filtech one, also has a spring in there. And this one basically, the spring is in the middle there. So, design's a little different. Uh, I'm guessing the function is the same thing. Again, there's the bypass valve with the spring. The other thing I notice is uh, on the Filtech, the, the gauge of the metal is definitely a lot stiffer. Here is the Honeywell. Put it side by side. You can kind of see the gauge of the Filtex is a bit thicker. So again, this is the made in USA Filtech. 
and this is Honeywell, um, made in Canada. So there it is, um, the two Honda filters. One is Filtech, one is Honeywell. This this one here replaced this A01. Um, you can still find A01 around actually. So eBay has some, some Honda might still have some um, stocks of it, but I believe uh, basically all the most of the dealers are carrying this one now, the A02. So, anyways, thought I'd show you guys this uh, little cutaway of the filter. All right. Thanks for watching.